Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the month of November 2017. And I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back, all you Aquarians. Um, this month is the month of the world, which is the energy of an Earth energy. So it's going to be a wonderful, positive, positive month. Um, it's going to be bringing balance because it's the um, last month before... Um, it's the last month before the end of the year well before Christmas and Thanksgiving well in this month there is going to be Thanksgiving for the people who celebrate Thanksgiving so it has an hurt uh, a hurt energy so this is going to be a wonderful positive month whatever is happening in this month of November you are going to realize that positive energies and positive things are about to happen so oh God seriously as we um, are looking at this month it's going to be a month of uh, water and fire water and fire because we're beginning the month of November with water and we're ending the month of November with um, the zodiac energy of fire so it's going to be hurt water and fire so this is going to be actually um, a very um, balance it's bringing balance and healing to the hurt okay so this is this is really really nice so please remember to listen to your Sun moon and rising sign um, what I'm doing um, I'm going to give first the general readings this month of November has five weeks um, so I'm going to do the general readings then I do the love readings and then I do the zodiac energy readings okay so here we go all right um, as I said this week as this month has five week the first week we have the energy of fire and you also have the wheel of fortune oh my gosh <laughs> you guys are lucky whatever is happening in the love atmosphere this is wonderful this is wonderful because um, you have the energy of the wheel of fortune twice so congratulations so write down number 10 because this is how going to have a significant role in your life there's going to be a new beginning in love for a lot of people new beginning in love for a lot of people a lot of love is about to enter your life and a lot of people are about to um, connect with you in ways that you weren't expecting so this is going to be very very positive so the first week the first week we have the energy of the wheel um, of fortune which is uh, the energy of uh, destiny destiny so a lot of you whatever the destiny is is that your wheel of fortune suddenly good luck is going to be coming out for you guys and this is going to be good and it's going to be luck in love and this is real true love soul made connection so um, this is going to be extremely wonderful if you're looking for your soulmate um, if you're looking whatever it is materialistic needs um, a mental emotional um, in the sense of balancing out your emotions a lot of that is going to happen because it's a balance month but a lot of luck in love relationship business sense and um, a lot of good luck just coming out for a lot of people so congratulations as we look at the second week for you guys it's going to be also another um, a wonderful amazing week because um, we have the energy of balance this is a one of the best week for you guys the second week because um, first and second week for you guys because the energy of balance is here and whatever that was unjust or unjust in this week is going to carry that energy vibration of bringing back balance in your life and in situation and then the Sun the energy of the Sun comes out which uh, what it is saying is that it is whatever that has um, you thought was was um, lost or died or whatever that was happening um, whatever that hand whatever that you thought you have lost uh, and will never return that is not true because uh, um, balance justice came in and justice came in and whatever unjust that was 
that has happened to you it's going to be balanced out and the Sun you are going to feel yourself again and you're going to understand that uh, things happen to teach us lessons and sometimes we wonder why are these lessons so hard but it doesn't really matter um, we just need to move through these lessons and say thanks to the universe for all that you have learned from these lessons so whatever that was there that was unjust um, um, you know whatever illegal situations that you guys have been working um, around and working towards uh, um, you are going to have a win-win situation okay as we move forward to the third week on um, the third week we have the energy of sacrifice um, sacrifice this third week with the energy of sacrifice it is uh, um, a loss of something you have a loss of something whatever that loss was you have gotten over this loss and you are moving on whatever that was um, actually blocking your life from moving it's now um, the universe is releasing you from this and removing this out of your um, you your surroundings it, 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 you know some people will be just leaving things behind some people will be um, closing off relationships some people will be ended relationships some people will be um, you know just taking time for themselves and just uh, um, releasing themselves of things that no longer serve them and uh, lower energies people um, sometimes you reach a point in your life uh, when um, it's going to be that you are just uh, moving on because you need to heal certain aspect of certain things in your life and whatever that this block was it is lifting whatever this heartbreak was it is also moving away and whatever that you have been sacrificing for this uh, um, it's going to be changing so let's say this um, this middle week the third week is going to be a week of transformation it's just going to be a week of transformation so whatever that is happening you are going to realize that it is going to be a week of transformation so let's go and see what is happening for the fourth week um i should have given you guys the number the fourth week is a week where you are going to have a um, temptation um, temptation um, transformation um, there's going to be different aspect that is coming out for different thing but it's going to be an extremely good one because uh, when there is transformation there are changes that are happening in people's life and this changes is going to be very good so a lot of people are going to end up with the um, using the swords with intellect and this is it whenever you get the ace of swords you should always use it in an intellectual way and then you will see how wonderful this um, you know just um, using things and doing things in an intellectual way how they can just heal um, things around you and this is extremely good so for some people there will be someone who is I'm basically spying on you um, basically um, or, or if someone was spying on you and trying to get information and going through your stuff it's basically going to end yeah because you have the ace of sword and with the ace of sword it's you using the focus and using your intellect and using the two side of the swords to, to heal things okay so what Ever what was happening to you you are going to realize that things are going to be changing and a transformation is going to be happening okay so this this is um, the fourth week this is the fourth week there's also going to have you know um, partnerships connection and partnerships with people because it's as if um, a lot of cleansing is going to happen and there's going to be a lot of transformation that is going to happen in your life okay 
for a lot of people in the last week you need to have patience. whatever the situation that is happening in the last week you need to really really have patience because what is happening is that the universe is throwing a lot to you and um, it is how you deal with certain situation um, what you have here is the energy of the Sun so this is this is extremely good and a new beginning for a lot of people so you have the five of cups whatever because you know you were having um, you are having you know take your time planning waiting taking your time planning and waiting and then you have the energy of the five of cups which is regrets uh, and then there is a new beginning uh, or a child could be having regrets for some people maybe you realize that your child is regretting a decision that they have made or you are have made and you need to tell them they need to have patient okay um, they really really need to have patient whatever the situation is there is going to um, just have patient because um, there you're going to be feeling that you have a regret over something but just have patient things will work out as we go forward and look at this week it's a week you know of uh, it's a month that is going to be it's, it's, it's a sort of a balancing that is happening um really really good balancing but what I can say is that your month will begin with love for the people who are looking for love it's a wonderful month for you guys for the people who are looking for love and for the people who are looking for new beginnings these new beginnings are going to happen for you and they're going to happen in a wonderful positive way if even your the energy you're thinking that the energy of these cards are not you know what you were looking for um, know that you being healed um, situation being healed around you is one of the best best things so this is going to be positive and good so again um, people are going to um, be um, going through trans a transformation um, a sense of transformation where um, you're looking at things differently as we look at the energy of love for you guys um, whatever the situation that has been happening I have to put my glasses on um, we have the knight of coins the king of coins um, a lot of you will be connecting with uh, the Taurus the Virgo and the Capricorns in relationship um, whatever is happening um, you need to take rest um, it's not really a month for um, for everyone it's only a month uh, with love it's a month where people who have twin uh, who have soulmate they will be connecting with their soulmate in this month okay so um it's it's, it's not really it, this was not a year for you aquarians to be in love so you have to understand that uh, um not each and every person is going to have that wonderful loving relationship and situations that are happening okay we are going to look forward and we're going forward and we're going to be looking to see um what energies are working with the zodiac energies um and um let's look at this let's look at this okay we have jupiter all right so a lot of changes are going to be happening in the atmospherical um, energies that is happening around us a lot of stuff is going to be happening so let's see what is here for the Sun um, the Sun people what is happening for the Sun people you have the Pisces you have the Aries and you have Mercurius. For the moon people, you have the Virgos, you have the Capricorns, and you have Mars. Mars is career changes, people. Okay, let's go and look and see what is happening and what is playing out. 
For the Sun people, we have the energies of the Pisces, the Pisces are water people, and you are an air sign. And they are coming in to help you with your intuition. Then we have the the Aries people, the Aries of fire. They are going to help you to find your inner passion. Okay, because it's all about work. It's all about for, um, getting yourself further um, in your life. So it's all about uh, um, really. It's all about um, you working on yourself, getting yourself to where you'd like it to go. Then you have to work with Mercurius and Mercurius. I love Mercurius. It's like working with Saint Germain, um, turning iron, turning lead to iron, or turning um, metal to gold, and that sort of a thing. So it's like you are going to have fine, good ideas in your head. Things are going to be coming out that is going to help you. Um, in this month so this is good I'm loving this for you fire people all right let's see what and um, sorry for my throat but I have been sick I have been miss missing so many readings because uh, I'm my of my throat so let's look at the moon people and who um, the moon people are going to work with the Virgos of course because um, the Virgos are very highly intuitive people um, they work with that they're always um, you know they're, there's not a lot of Virgos who are very out there and when they're out there they're just going to tell you exactly how they feel the same goes for the Capricorns and uh, I don't know I, I think there is a love age relationship between the Aquarians and the Capricorns I think the Capricorns get along much better with the Librans because the Librans are sure is very um, straightforward so you know um whatever is happening the capricorns are coming to teach you something about diplomacy and standing but balance you know um because you're an air sign and, and mars is coming so a lot of people are going to be changing or thinking about changing their career in um this month of november so whatever because remember if you were born between the hours of uh, 6 p.m and uh, 12 and 6 a.m you are a lunar person you're a moon person a night person okay you are born in the night so whatever is happening a lot of you are going to connect also via relationship with the Virgos the Capricorn the Virgos and the Capricorn these are spiritual people you are also a spiritual person and they are going to help you to understand how you need to change and find uh, um, that true north that you are supposed to be on this is actually actually good um the other energy that I have and I need to use the vortex more and more I realize that there are just some energies that I you need to use more and more the energy of the vortex is um, very positive whatever the situation is um, we are going to ask what is the energy for the Aquarians the vortex energy for the Aquarians in the month of November and let's see I came as an extension of source energy isn't this beautiful yes it is I came as an extension of source energy and it says so you you came as a physical extension of source energy understanding that you would explore contact cause expansion not only for you but for all this and this time you knew that you could find your way back to the resource of your source by feeling your own way and by understanding that the relationship between you and you is not one of a separation but of alignment and resonation when you master the art of longing you're consistently aligning with the source within you every other relationship will be benefits and pleasurable so when you understand and when you align yourself 
that you know you came as an extension of source energy then you will understand that you are source energy you're a part of this universe and this world and as you see there there is um, 31 um, 31 is um, 1 3 plus 1 is 4 and it is of the um, angels and this is a positive positive messages to carry you guys through so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls I want to say to you I want to wish you guys is there any other messages I want to wish you guys wonderful wonderful positive positive um, you know month because a lot of transformation is going to happen this transformation need to take place in this year at this time because your birthday is over two three months and you need to bring um, all this healing and transform yourself I want to say how much I love you guys thank you for supporting my channel and remember to listen to the Sun moon and rising sign and know that when you um, understand that you are a part of everything that exists then you understand yourself I want to say I love you all and we will talk next time